school through instruction and other facets of school work is delivering quality to the students drawn from the vision, mission, or values of the school. In the same token, our catechetical centers need to be standardized based on the church's vision of catechesis so that what we present to our professors in the catechetical centers as well as our for Monday should really be the vision of the church drawing from the mind of the church thus an instrument was set up by the technical working group and you have there in front of you these various instruments for certification drawn from the General Directory for Catechesis and the National Catechetical Directory for the Philippines. So, to present these documents, instruments, may I request the members of the TWG of EDCHEN to come here. Father Neddy Guzman, Father William, Monsalud, Dr. Pilar Romero, and Sister Rea. Castillo to present these instruments of catechetical centers looking into the various facets of how we in our dioceses are engaged in the formation and training of catechists. I'm the only mother in this hall. 
uh, through mother rather, kasi si mother just yes, mother po. Pero ako lang po talaga yung went through mothering uh, and birthing as a mother. And um, in, in my parenting, I I've always believed that parenting is kneeling down. Is done when the knees. So, parang po ko nagkaroon ng idea dyan. Meron po akong kaibigan si Tita Nena Bautista, who's the wife of Felix Bautista. I don't know if you still remember them, no? Um, si Tita Nena po ay meron labing apat na anak. No? At nung tinanong po siya, paano mong pinalaki yung mga anak mo? Isa lang po yung sagot niya. Sabi niya, pinalaki ko, pinalaki ko sila ang nakalukod. No? So, kung na, nakarinig ko po yun, ako po ay bata, pinanoon, no? Ah, uh, Isip ko, oo nga, ano, pinalaki ko sila ng nakalukod. Which means that for me now, um, my being a parent, my being a mother always, uh, I mean, kneeling always accompanies my being a parent. No? In kneeling, I ask God's mercy to accompany me in praying of my child. My children namin, kasi tatlo ko yung anak ko. And then, the Bishop also talk about kneeling as surrender. So, um, when it comes to surrender, I kneel down as a wife because I completely surrender to God when it comes to my husband. Wala na po akong magagawa sa kanya. So, <laughs> yun po yung mga insights ko about kneeling, no? Even in our work as teachers. Ako po ay isang guro for 35 years and I draw my strength, sabi nga ni Bishak, from kneeling. Dahil hindi po madali ang maging teacher. At sa trabaho po namin dito sa TWG, Kneeling din po. Kasi po, yung name na TWG, ang emphasize po dyan, ang emphasis is W, working. No? Yung TWG, ang talagang pinaka-true po dyan, is not the technical, but it's the working. No? So, uh, very dynamic po yung aming leader kasi si Nimo, si Jerry, pag may naisip siya, ang galing niya po mag at ang galing din niya po mag-turo. Kaya siya po ang point person namin. He always points. Okay, so, ano po ang order ng presentation? Itong aming, um, itong certification. So, we would like to present this as a story. A story, no? Because we know the power of storytelling. Okay, so, a order of presentation is, um, we present this as our story first, hoping that eventually it will become your story also, and our story, this certification. It means that we want you to also journey with us in this uh, work of certification. Then, uh, we will move to the meaning behind the story. Ito po yung rationale. Why do we need this certification? Why did we ever come up no, with the idea of certification for catechetical centers? Okay? And then, the plot of the story. Father William is going to present to us the framework that supports the entire work of certification. Without this framework, hindi po tatayo itong certification na ito. No? And then, we have the unfolding of the story. The unfolding of the story is the process of assessment. How will the assessment be accomplished? Now, there's a difference kasi meron po unfolding of the story, meron po me method, uh, method of certification or the details of the story. Okay, uh, how will now, how will you now ask for certification if you want your catechetical centers to be certified or your programs in your diocese to be certified? And then, number six is making meaning out of the story. This is now when we discuss with you the results of the assessment. And then finally, the moral of the story. Ano po ito? Uh, because it, uh, after the, the visits and after the interview, there are two possible results or there are two possible things that might happen. One is that you, your program may either get certified, so that is certification, or we, the, the, the certification team with the uh, dialoguing with the bishop may find some points for improvement. Now that doesn't mean that you're not going to be certified, but it will be uh, some kind of a sustained accompaniment that we are going to do until such time that that certification is given. Okay, so more or less, that's the, the way the story will unfold. So I will now introduce you and introduce him to you, our dynamic and dashing to the snow <laughs> president of Acre. Buti po wala siya kung hindi niya ngayon at ibibles na patay, no? Father William.